Tail hunter here. Yeah, it's April 10th. <clears throat> I'm going to take my grandson out for turkey use. We've been spotting a few on the back 40 and uh, it's been some pretty bad weather. It's raining and cold this morning, real windy. Uh, we were going to go this morning, but we decided to stay in and the Turks did show up out here, but uh, we're hoping for an evening catch on the way back to the roost. This bucks out my grandson. You ready to get one, buddy? What are you looking for? Um. You want a big double beard, don't you, huh? He's shooting his customized 20 gauge. He's already got him a turkey under his belt or two, so we're just gonna sit back here in the line. And Use no decoys today. They've been out here strutting around and quite a bit in the morning, so quite a bit in the afternoon. But it was so windy enough today on this knob, I figured they'd go into the woods and come back through and all the way back to the roost. So I'm guessing it'll be closer to seven when they come through there. I'm not sure what time it is right now, but it's probably around between two and three, I imagine. Anyway, we're going to stick it out here and see what happens. And if we can get us a big old turkey, and we'll be pretty happy. So we'll see what happens here in a little while, and we'll be getting back with you. Hope you guys are out too, Have, making some memories. All right, the old mouth call came through again. We called them times. It was kind of windy. We didn't have nothing up here. How far away did you say where them babies were? Probably a mile. Probably about a mile. They had to cross quite a few ditches to get over here. We kept talking to them, and we called three of them out here. And I let my grandson pick which one he wanted, and uh, tell them what happened, grandson. You started out over here on on this window, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And then they walked over here, and I couldn't shoot from that window, so I moved over to that one. So you took your gun out of this window, and you stuck it through over there. You took a bead on them. And then what happened? I shot it. You dropped him, huh? Wow. How many is that for you? Uh, three. Three in your life. That, uh, can't film through here very good, but, uh, there he is. He's nice little turkey there. We had. Three of them, there's, I think they're all about the same size. I think, but, the, uh, I think the first one was the biggest because his beard was really long, long, but I couldn't shoot it. I know, I told you to try to get the first one, but uh, I did, you know, throw a little call out there and I was able to get him to fan out again, but he was backwards to us. But uh, we didn't have no decoys out here today and they, I called him up here and they were going to go right on over the hill. But, the first one didn't lift up his head when he called, so, and that was the only one that lifted up his head, so I shot that one. Yeah, and they got to lift their head up, don't they? Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm awful proud of your grandson. Papa loves you. And uh, it's always nice to be out here today with my, my grandson, and whether we're going after deer or turkey, out here at the Rock and Bee, we're always making memories. We're going to go out here and take a look at this bird now and see how we did. All right, here's Buckshot, my grandson. That's his nickname anyway. He, uh, this is Bird. Good job, man. He uh, got him with that nice 20 gauge. His dad got rigged up for him. One shot and dropped him right where he stood, didn't you, buddy? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you think about this kill? It's pretty good. What are you going to do with him? Eat it. Why? <laughs> You're going to eat him, ain't you? Uh -huh. Yep, he's going to eat him. Yeah, that's a nice looking bird. Go ahead and uh, pick that baby up. and We're going to get the tag on him next, but pick him up and put him over the back of your back with his feet. I might not be able to, I don't know. 
Sure you can. Oh yeah. Sling him over your back. So, how are you gonna carry him back to the camp? Get him up over your shoulders. Come on. Yeah. What? <laughs> that turkey's winning the wrestling match. <laughs> oh, you almost got it. You're oh, gonna get. Poo. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. All right. Stand up like in wrestling. You can do it, buddy. Oh, he's gonna pin you. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I know you can. You're a wrestler. Get him up there. Don't let him pin you. Where's the other foot at? Oh my god. All right. Don't let him get your shoulders down. <laughs> Use them strong legs. Get him up over your shoulders. Oh, I'm standing on it. Get him up over your shoulders. <laughs> <It's> too heavy. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's stop. Okay, watch the gun barrel here. Don't step in front of the gun barrel. <clears throat> All right, come here, grandson. Get down here where I can get with you. I want to say that I want to remember this day for the rest of my life, and I think you will too, won't you? We come out here and we took this nice turkey. We want to thank the good Lord for letting this happen because without him, none of this would be possible. Right, buddy? And uh, we called mom and dad, told them we got the big one and they're headed over here. We're gonna get him tagged up, take him up to the ranch and get him cleaned up. And uh, we'll have him for dinner here one of these days. Anyway, that's the rock and me for this hunt, and we're going to back it on out of here. Hope you guys will get out there and make some memories with your grandkids. Later. Like a bird.